Hi my Stampin' Friends, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And recently I was invited to the WI to talk about Stampin' Up! and their products. And during the course of the evening, after my talk, all the ladies made a little card each. And I chose for them to make a card using this kit called the Soft Sayings Card Kit. And in it you get everything you need if you're a, a beginner to card making. You can make 20 cards and there are two each of five designs in the set. You, the set includes 15 photopolymer stamps, a clear stamp block, 20 card bases and coordinating envelopes, um, the craft box of course you get, you've got, and you've got die cut accents, um, a little stamping spot with um, basic grey ink, some baker's twine, washi tape and some dimensionals so all you need is some more adhesive and you, you can make yourself these beautiful um, cards. So these are what we had left. There were three left um, after the evening and so I, when I came home I just finished those off. It seemed a shame not to. And then I made this little card um, to coordinate with those. I think that looks beautiful. Of course this is the stamp set and what I've done is obviously that I ha now have a stamp set which is called the Soft Saying Stamp Set. So what I've done is I've got myself a little stamp case and there's all the little photopolymer stamps there and I've got those to use again. Now you can get a refill kit um, but you don't get the stamp set but you then if you've already got it if you'd like to make the cards again. And I thought this was a wonderful kit to use for the evening. The ladies really enjoyed it and I thoroughly enjoyed talking to them and spending the evening with them. And at the end of the evening, I gave them all a little gift. And I'm just going to show you the little gift that I gave them all. I gave them one of these to take home. And it was a little thank you gift from me that I made for each of them. And it was made on the envelope punch board and it's just a little treat box. It says from my kitchen to yours, I used the pretty label stamp set and made a little bow and put that on and put some little biscuits and some coffee in just as a thank you. But then I thought I'd like to share this project with you all today. And I thought I would change it because I've put coffee and biscuits in, I thought, what, uh, um, a perfect thing it would be to make one with the coffee cafe stamp set and this is the coffee cafe um, bundle you've got designer papers the stamp set the matching frame that dies you save 10% if you buy the dies and the stamp set together You've got these little corrugated elements that also match, ribbons that match and you can buy a, a coffee break cardstock pack and, and the cardstock matches all the colours that are in that designer paper. So that is what I have designed and this is how I've made it. Let's close that up, put that to one side. So this is what I've come up with and this is what I'd like to share with you all today. Life happens, coffee helps. And then I've put these little elements on that I've cut from the designer paper. I'll show you that in a minute. And I've used one of the corrugated little things and put thanks a latte and a little bow in early espresso card. So I'm going to show, share with you today how I made it. And I've just got some coffee and biscuits inside. So let's put that to one side. This is the designer paper and in it you've got two sheets. Uh, you get 12 sheets in all, 12 by 12. And in it you've got this paper that's got all these little coffee coffee cups, uh, takeaway coffee cups. And with the stamp set and the matching dies, that little uh, coffee thing there fits perfectly over there so that you can die cut them out. So cute. 
and I think it's fantastic. So let's, without further ado, let's get on with it. So we start off with a sheet of six by six designer paper. This is in Soft Sky and it's six by six. So in effect, you can get four of these little, um, I don't know if you'd call them a little basket. I, I, I think they're like a little basket, I think. Cute. So you can get four from one sheet of 12 by 12. So I think that makes it really a great saving. You get four from each sheet. So And there's no waste. There's no silly little strips left over. So we put the paper in, the designer paper in at one and a half and we punch and score and then move it to the three inch mark on the board that's three inches is here one and a half here so let's just bring you down very slightly so that you can see and then I like to turn it to the opposite side of where I've done and I like to do one and a half again and punch whoops and three and punch and then I turn it round a quarter turn and I know you probably can't see that mark but there's a little mark down here and you line that little notch up to that and you'll see that that is at the three inch mark and you punch and score move it along and it'll be more or less on the four and a half inch punch and score turn it round and do the same it'll be at the three inch mark punch and score move it along to the next notch which is at the four and a half inch mark punch and score and then we just round off our corners so it's dead easy to make these. You could make them for craft fairs or anything. And coffee, coffee is just so popular. I mean, this morning I was in Costa. I just love coffee in Costa. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So coffee is just, everybody loves coffee and biscuits. It's everybody's comfort, isn't it? Well, I think, well, it is, I'm sure it is. So we're folding and burnishing all our score lines all the way round. And then I'll show you on this side. All you do then, you just cut up on that line to the first line there, like that. And you do that on all four sides, cut up to that first line. Like that, and then you've got four tabs, like that, see that? And then we get some wet multi-purpose glue, the old green Tombow, and just put some glue on those little tabs like that and then put your box together in the normal way lining up with a nice straight edge four corners and then go in and just burnish those down making sure that they're nicely stuck down 
And then with my bone folder, I, I just pulled that round so that it's going to go in the opposite direction like that and then get your glue dots and it's a glue dot on the underside and then you're going to get this and push it onto the bottom like that so that you've got a nice little curl like that and you're going to do that on both sides that looks nice and then with this you're curling it inwards so you've gone outwards there and you're going inwards here give it a curl to make it curl around like a basket And then you'll see that that goes together very nicely in a domed shape. And of course we need our biscuits. And these are just these little Biscoff biscuits, which I love. You can get those from the Poundland. They're a pound for loads. And you can put your little coffee sachets in. You can be as generous as you want. You can fit at least two packets of biscuits in two two um, little coffee sachets and then with a glue dot just glue that together like that and now I'm going to show you how I made the little bow on the top on the top here so I've used my bow builder punch this is the bow builder punch you cut two lots of those out you need one of these for the middle of the bow two little end ones that's the end one there and two of these to make your bow so you've cut that out with your early espresso card and then you need to give this a little curl up Curl your bows downwards or upwards, whichever you like. And then I just give this a little curl as well. And now you're going to need plenty of glue dots to put this together. So it's a glue dot on the end there. Glue dot on the end there. And then push those together. So that they join there and then you've got a little loop like that. Do the same with this one up on there and then you've got another little loop again. So you've got your two loops, now you're going to join your two loops together. So there you are, you join them together like that. And that's the start of your little bow. Then these little back pieces you want a glue dot on the end of there. Push that on there like that so that sticks out nicely. Same with this one. Push that on the back there so that sticks out nicely. And then you want two glue dots on this little tiny piece, one on each end. like that and then that curls round the front and round to the back and you push it down with your glue dots nice and firmly like that and there is your little bow and we're going to stick that on in a moment when we've done our stamping bits so let's push those to one side So let's get the foam pad because this is a photopolymer stamp set so we need our foam pad and then I've prepped up on my blocks uh, the sentiment life happens coffee helps and the little um, whipped cream yum and also that little sentiment thanks a latte so I've got a piece of cardstock here that's 
crumb cake and a piece in whisper white. Now on the crumb cake we are going to stamp using early espresso ink and we're going to stamp our sentiment life happens coffee helps so down the on there fabulous and then we want crumb cake for our whipped cream Great. And then thanks a latte. We're going to stamp that in garden green. And all these colours match with this designer paper. As well as of course the soft sky. So stamp that down on there. Like that. That away, and we're going to get the big shot out now. We're going to run these through the big shot. So let's get that on here. And I've got my magnetic plate on here today. So put our pieces on here, and for this part, we want that one. Thanks a latte, we want this one. And whipped cream, we want this one. So that's it, plate on and run that through. off, put that away, don't need that anymore. So that's our cream. And that's thanks a latte. That's it. Right then. Let's bring our packages in and then I've cut all my bits out here so I'm going to get the little label one uh, off of there and then we're going to choose some of these. So I sat and cut out a, a lot of these because I intend to make some cards with this so let's get all our little options out. Right then, so let's put some ink, uh, glue, wet glue along the bottom edge of our whipped cream. Just a little along that edge, not too much. And then attach that underneath. And that's our whipped cream on our coffee or whatever ice cream. Then my thanks a latte, I'm going to stick that down on my little tag, just there. And then we're going to use dimensionals on this. So let's set that on there and then we want a little coffee cup here maybe a mug and a coffee cup there so let's put a little mug there and this on the other side decorated and then on this side we want our thanks a latte here so we're going to put some 
wet glue around there and stick that. What did I do with the little bow that I made? Here it is. So that's going on there. So I think that will stick that there so that we can have our bow on the top. Yep. So a little glue dot, I think. A couple of little glue dots on our bow. Stick that on. On with. That's it. Lovely. And then on this side, I'm going to put a little coffee percolator. coffee cup I think or is there another mug no I'm going to stick to this that's it put those away use those on something else well then, I think that that has made it. Put the lid on my glue. So that is how I made my little thank you gifts. But I think that they look really sweet with the coffee on and the matching colours, early espresso and the garden green and crumb cake. I think they look good. And I'm really rather pleased with those little treats. So I hope you enjoyed that today and that maybe you'll give these a little go as well. Let me know how you get on. I love to see all the things you make, so do get in touch with me. If you need any supplies, um, you can purchase them through my online store, should you need to. And all the measurements, although I don't think you'll need them, will be on my website too. Do pop over and uh, join me. If you use the hostess code uh, for the month of August, uh, when you buy online, I will also send you a little thank you gift and card at the end of the month. So that's all from me today. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, it's bye for now. Bye.